And I have a couple things to show you guys. Uh, these are collected over many moons. <laughs> um, some recent, some like somewhat past. So we'll see. Oh, I forgot one thing too that I had upstairs, but I will I will get that in a second. And man, I apparently have a lot of stuff here. All right, we shall start. I got this. This was three ninety nine from Savers. And this one, I was kind of surprised that they had missed. It is marked 925 here on the claspy clasp. And it is leather. Hello, Carla. And I believe this is made out of silver clay. So they have stuff that that is, um, it's basically made out of silver, um, but it's like a polymer clay and you can make different things out of it. That is what I believe that this is. I have not tested this part, but that is so cool. I love this. I don't love the chain that it's on. I feel like I would like it more on just a silver silver chain and the jump rings are definitely not sterling so i think i might take it off and put it on something else it's really heavy i think it's cool i like it this one i think i took the tag off because i wanted to see it and try to wear it actually so this is also marked here on the clasp. And it is this crazy tubey stuff, stretchy tube, very artsy, right? If you can see. And I believe this is the same thing. That's, that's what it looks like very much so is like a silver clay that then you make into an art piece by an artist. And I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And I think it's just gorgeous and very unique. So I think these were probably made by the same person if I had to guess, right? Yeah, I I have tested other pieces like this, and it did test positive for um, 925, because I think that's what this is made out of. It's like a polymer and silver dust. Um, and then this one was funny because it was in the case. I don't know why they moved it to the case. It was only 599, which I don't think is bad. It's decent price for this and it is also in a very good condition and a beautiful Kendra Scott necklace so very nice I was happy about that one I have no idea, like, what this is made out of. These are really, really light. They're not made out of ivory. They're not made out of celluloid. It is a really, really light. Very strange. I have no idea. Do you guys have any clue what the heck this could be? And it looks pretty newer. Like, it's got a barrel clasp clasp to it but like what is this what is this made out of this is my jewelry mystery 
for today. I actually have another one. I'll grab it in a sec. But this is one of my jewelry mysteries. What do you guys think this is made out of? It looks like popcorn. It is just, it's very, very different. So, you know me when I see something unique, I got to grab it. This, I think, was restrung. It's $2.99. I'm going to take that tag off. It's very light. I think this is restrung. It looks uh, very much like jet or something to me because it's not cold. These are older beads. And I think they're hand carved, like you can see, like here. The marks on it. So, I think that's what it is. I think it was restrung. It's just, it's a very light, it's not plastic though. I don't know. And these are so nice. I wear um, necklaces like that often. This one was $14.99. $14.99 sterling. Um, this was also from Savers. And this is marked Mexico CII 925. It's um, got a little bit of scratching, but it's not bad. And uh, it looks nice on. So, oops. <laughs> so I grabbed that, I thought that was really nice. And this was the other one, this one I paid $6 for. There is absolutely no marking on this which kind of shocks me because it looks really well made. And it's just such a mystery. I looked up and down on this. You'd think maybe here, but that is, that's nothing. Um, but this is like a, I think a Tiffany design or Van Cliff and Arpels, something like that. It's like, you know, made to look like one of their pieces, kind of. It is a really neat piece. You guys know how I like unique. And I just, I thought this was very nice. And I was intrigued that it didn't have a mark right? And with these beautiful CZs, at least I assume it's CZs. I think it's, it's probably plated at least. It's in perfect condition. So I don't know. I loved it. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna show you guys some things. Uh, this one, I don't know why it's like like that. There's a little piece off, which is going to bother me. I think they must have tried to size it or something, or maybe one of these broke. But it looks like it's in decent condition. There's some there. These are heavy, they're beautiful. There's definitely some flea bites on it, but I don't see purple very often in this. And so, love it. All right. I don't recall how much this one was. These are so stinking cool. Their Castle Cliff, it is marked there. They're not 
in a hundred percent condition. I don't even know, like this is interesting, but that was definitely during production. And I think it looks a tiny bit, who's not selling now? Oh yeah, I'm not, I just, um, I eventually need to get back on it, but I have just been so busy at work and just so tired after work. So I just, I haven't, um, because it's been so much. So these are beautiful though. Um, I'm, I keep saying I'm going to do something on, on YouTube and I just never do. Cause like I said, it's just, ah, it's a lot. I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir, but so this, these are beautiful. They are going to go upstairs. I have some really like eccentric kind of bigger earrings. Yeah. They'd be very nice for Christmas or a work party or something. So I love those. This I paid way too much for at a yard sale. <laughs> um, but it's on the thing, it says a demo 925. So I think these are like gold plated and sterling silver balls. I think it's odd that I thought somebody like put this on there just because this is a real cameo. Um, that's what that company is kind of known for. But I think it was actually just, since it's on here, like meant to be on there, which is interesting. So I think I paid $10 for that. This I didn't get. And like a couple days later, I was thinking about this and I went back and got it. It is marked West Germany on the back clasp is beautiful these are glass so they are beautiful glass beads and these are just plastic with a coating over it and this was $5.98 so $6 these are one of the more beautiful like three strand glass necklaces I have seen. And I think it's, they have really nice colors. So it's not really like tied to a season either. I think you can wear it for any season. So I went back and I got that, which I'm glad I did. Cause I got some other amazing things too. This one was $2.98. I'm like losing my voice. Yeah, I've just been so tired lately. And it's weird because I don't even go into work. I work from home. I don't know. So I have a necklace kind of like this that's got leaves on it. And I love this one is, is nice quality. You can kind of feel it. It's heavy. And it's got these little birds on it. And I just, I love it. I think this will be really nice for layering. There is no marking, no clasp or anything like that on this necklace. It's got little birdies on it. And it is so sweet. I love the birds. I think I have one with stars and one with leaves. And then this one has birds. So. And then this one was $4.98. We can take that off now. Signed at QT. QT. I think that's funny. But that, that is what it's signed, what it's signed. This is a very petite one. It is 925. Very petite um liquid silver bracelet. It says 925 QT on there too. Alright, guys. You can see my favorite thing, or should I hold off? That's my favorite thing I got. You can kind of see a little bit of it there. Um, this one was five. Oops.
five dollars which I think it's beautiful so you can kind of see there it's got the Swarovski swan on it and it is the different colors so like an ombre pink purple I love that Oh yeah, this one was three ninety eight, and it is a Har H A R brooch. Har is known for their like plastic, but this one is glass, and it's blue. Is it? Is the fuchsia hot pink in right now? I never know what's in. I'm terrible with that. Um, it's decent size. Look at it. It's pretty big. And there's some dead stones in here, but I actually think it makes it look nicer on this one. Usually I am a stickler for that, but it, I think it makes it look more vintage. So very nice brooch. And I bought these. I think I need to clean them somehow. They have stuff on them. But tortoise shell, huge earrings. And I just thought they'd be kind of funky. They look 70s to me. Big funky tortoise shell earrings. And this I need to clean. It's got some schmutz. It's not signed in the back, but... Do you guys know what this one, this maker is? So you guys put it in the comments. If you know. And I just, I thought that was really cool. And I'm going to get, I'm going to ask you guys to guess. So guess who you think this one is that makes this brooch. It's small, but... It, it called out to me because I thought it was very pretty and it is signed. So we're going to play games tonight. You guys can tell me if you know who you think that is. This one. And then I got this one for $6. I only really buy the Brighton. Well, this one also has rhinestones, which also makes it nice, but Usually when it is nice and cheap <laughs> is when I like it. All right. <laughs> you are correct. It is, <laughs> it is a Trifari brooch. So I just, I thought it was a very nicely made, beautiful colors. I love the enamel and it was marked Trafari. So yeah, like don't these go well, really well together? Like somebody had a nice collection. It does. I thought it was Drone Rivers too, actually. So when I turned it over and it was Trafari, I was surprised because I did not think so. But I think those are really nice. All right, this one here, I'm going to take the tag off. I want you guys to guess with this one, too. Someone had such a nice collection that they donated. How do I get this off? So this one was $6.98. Sometimes these are so hard to get off when they have, like, a bunch of tape and such. Aha. Success. All right. This is my favorite thing I've gotten in a little while. Except for the one upstairs I will show you guys I got today. All right. Who do you think made this one? Look at that. And see the back it's not marked here 
So it looks like that. And this is in very good condition, by the way, guys. Um, it's got these little coins here, like the Roman coins. And this is the clasp. And I did look up, there was a sold of this for $75, a sold on Ruby Lane. Again, the, those things go for a little bit more, but um, yes, I thought it was Monet at first too when I first saw it, because it kind of looks like one of their really beautiful signature pieces. It is not. I have, um, oops, I'm sorry, <laughs> some really beautiful Napier too. It is not Napier, but I do have some Napiers that are, are really nice book pieces. And this, this is definitely like a book piece, a signature piece. It's gorgeous. You guys haven't named it yet. As you keep naming, I'm going to grab that thing that I wanted to show you upstairs. Good guesses. I wish it was Versace. Versace. No, this is actually, here, I'll show you guys. I was kind of surprised because I didn't see it coming, but it's Trafari. Who knew? It is such a cool piece. And like I said, definitely valuable. Super gorgeous, absolutely stunning, love it, yeah. I thought maybe you guys would guess it because <laughs> we had just talked about it, but yeah, this is this is a beautiful Trifari piece with the gold coins, and it looks stunning on, by the way, also. So this was was really excited to see that in the case and ask them, can I see that? All right. Speaking of also, I need your help with, with this. I got this, I think off of, off of Poshmark. I don't remember how much money I paid for it. You know, their shipping is crazy and you have to pay taxes and all that stuff. Remember when it started, you didn't have to pay taxes. That was wonderful. <laughs> you know, whatever, they're, they're going to go after you nowadays. So you got to pay your taxes. Um, but look at the mother of pearl. It's so beautiful. And it is marked 925 China, but this JB, that looks kind of like a butterfly. It's a, it's a really nice bracelet, too, by the way. It's heavy. Um, does anyone have any clue as to who this designer is? I tried looking it up, and I had no luck. So, very curious. If anyone knows that, please let me know. This, I got, I don't think it was that expensive, maybe $5 or less. And I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's really nice quality. These are real pearls, real stones. These pearls are beautiful too. Um, and I just like, I think that's sterling. And I did find... The mark, 
Yes, is up here. Nine two five. Hate, kind of hate taco class clasps. They fall off so easily, but it's like that cha cha style bracelet. Bell Jardin, Jardin, Bell Jardin. So it's like BJ instead of JB. Um, so like I said, I think this one was from Savers. It was under $5. I love these. Super cool. This I also ordered. It was maybe like $30, 30 to $40. And I, I ordered a different one that was a key. And... I ordered this one. It's Mark 925. And I just, I thought it would be cool to have like two or three of the nice quality keys hanging from different levels of necklace. So I love keys. All right. I have other stuff, but I'm going to show you guys my, my other favorite because I can't wait. I also don't know who this is, SC, and it is marked on the inside, hello, Miss Dawn, 950, it's like marked twice, I think somebody made this by hand, we're going to keep you in because this whole ring, this whole ring is made of rutilated quartz. It is so freaking cool. And then it's got like probably gold plated sterling. And it's like that person never wore it. It is in perfecto condition. Of course, the only finger it fits right now is this one. My husband is not okay with that. I hope to continue losing some weight so it does fit because, oh my goodness, isn't that so cool? I've never seen anything like it. I can't find anything about it online. I, I just, this is like the coolest ring I've ever seen. Yeah, see, I mean, I could wear it up a little bit like that. But I, I need to lose some weight. <laughs> I like... The all I gain weight in my fingers only for some reason. Um, yeah, it's so cool. Well, look at that. Yeah, you can see it like that. I love reticulated quartz as well. I just think it's so neat. I don't know. This is the coolest, coolest ring I've ever seen, I think. That's just different. Oh, look, it goes nicely with this, too. <laughs> Nature is amazing. More amazing than anything we can do. Um, This I got on Poshmark as well. Don't remember how much it was. Again, the shipping is just crazy. It is marked 925, gold over silver. I liked that this looked like the sun and the moon. And look at how cool the amber is in here. I love how neat that is. And it's on this, which is interesting, it's got a little, like, dragonfly, and then it's marked 925. I know Poshmark shipping is really bad. Um, but I thought this was really cool. I love the sun and the moon. I, when I was younger, I used to collect that stuff. And this, this um, chain is also really neat. So I just, I thought that was the best. So old, new, 
everything in between I got here. Um, I think this one is also similar to that, like, silver clay I was talking about before. Um, I don't think it's native. I think it's just, like, you know, looking like it. It is marked here. And it's got these little bears and the stones on top of the little bears. And... I don't know. I don't think this is actually a stone. So I just, I thought that was intriguing. I also got that from Posh. And this one too. This one I got with that other one. Jardin. What did you guys say? I really need to write that down. Look, Belle Jardin. Bell Jardin. I'm trying to remember that. Um, this one is Carolyn Pollock, 925. Really heavy. And it's a pendant or brooch, which is lovely. This time of year, the Southwest style is really nice to wear. And it's got several, several stones. So that was cool. I think maybe this one came with it too. I'm trying to remember. Like I got a bundle from this lady. And I saw it and I was like, oh, this this looks familiar, the clasp. And it's because I think it was like a hundred dollars for these couple things. That's Judith Ripka. I can't figure out, like, if something's supposed to be on here or, like, this is just the way the train is. Like, if there was a pendant maybe that came with it or something. This is huge. It's really heavy. I feel like, so Judith Ripka had stuff on QVC and she also had stuff, um, like, on her own that was a little bit more expensive and higher quality from my opinion. This is really, really heavy really really heavy i think this was probably the qvc one because you know her um stamp isn't the greatest but yeah isn't it cool like look it's just it's kind of round so it's like a chain mail one um and it's got these and i think maybe it's made for you know how some of these have the clips and you can put it on there i think and a lot of hers do because i have a couple like that but yeah, I just, I thought it was crazy. And this is a lot of silver, by the way. Heavy. I don't, I know I got this one from Poshmark too. I don't remember how much it was or anything. It's Mark 925, Mexico. I can't, I'm, it fits, I just. And it's just got this one dent and just needs to get cleaned up. I think I also got this with that. So was, I don't think it was this, but I think it was those one, two, three, four, and then this. This has no clasp. I am pretty certain this is sterling and these are real turquoise. They might be Chinese tur turquoise. That's what they kind of look like to me. Um, I don't know why. It just does. <laughs> um, it's a really, really long. Super duper long. Like, you can put it around probably three times comfortably. Um, but I am pretty certain that it is sterling. I haven't tested it. Obviously, I can test it. But I was happy to get this. I thought it was very cool. And then I also got this one. I don't remember where it was. I'm sorry. Um, this says 925. It is Selpata. And it is the Smoky Quartz. Smoky Doki Quartz. And look at this chain. It's so pretty. 
So somebody somebody said I'm like the Silpata queen. I just, you know, you keep seeing the same things or you see their style. You just kind of know Silpata. You just kind of end up knowing it. Let's see. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. This is one of my favorites, too. Look at me going, like, everything's my favorite. Look at this ring. I think I paid 8 or $9 for it. It is marked 925. It is a real stone. I think it's lapis. It is really cool. I don't know, like, if that's a mark for something. Let's see, 925 there. So, gold over sterling. And it fits perfectly. I don't have to lose any weight for this one. <laughs> so, I love it. And then I got these guys. I thought these would be nice on, um... on like a jean jacket or something like that and together I have a couple that kind of look similar to this and these are 925 or sterling it says patent pending and then there was the mark is on here somewhere aha uh -huh. it's there actually this one I think says gold filled and silver so oh it's actually gold filled you wouldn't know because there's a whole bunch of oxidation and then this one also has a little plaque oh same thing gold filled and then the sterling so but they're so pretty I just I love love that look I also got this in a bag because I wanted this Beautiful little cloisonne heart ornament. I just thought it was sweet. Deep. This one was one ninety nine. Boop. And. Is marked here and it is liquid silver and then has some real semi precious stones set into it so I thought that was very nice for $1.99 this one was $5.98 so six dollars but I love these chains kind of long ish I like finding shorter ones because they're harder to find but these are great for pendants because I just get bored of the same you know sterling snake chain so I like having other ones and then this was together with this and I think it was like six or six dollars or something like that. And I was like, oh, that's weird. These are like the same thing and they're together. So 925. And it's also like marked in here. So I thought that was that was interesting because they're pretty much the exact same necklace, but they were together. So I didn't have to pay for the one. Um, so this is most likely onyx jade i think these were really popular in the 80s i believe and like those stores everywhere had those stores that had like all the the asian stuff um we had a lot of those here too so um then i got this i thought this was gorgeous Tell me about it. I have to figure out what I'm doing with my collection as well. So this one was 
nine dollars basically and it is marked 925 China and it is abalone which I have noticed abalone seems to be pretty popular right now um, even not set in sterling it's a really nice look I know my sister loves it she probably would love that bracelet I love it I think this one was $1.99 the Trifari night. Um, but this one isn't in perfect condition, but it's Trifari. And it needs to get cleaned a little bit right here. But look at how cute this is. I absolutely love this. A little bit of luck. Right, that's all what everyone needs right now. $2.99. I have a bad bag of stuff here. I've never seen it before either. So this one is marked also 925. And they are real pearls. Kind of has the, the duo strands. So it's just, it's very pretty. And these actually can be very nice to put a pendant on as well. Most people don't think about that, but, you know, sometimes you can put pendants on, on different things. And this one was $1.99. And it was also marked... 925 here and has the infinity symbol. So something pretty, pretty simple, nice for layering. And then this one I think was somewhat more expensive. It is marked 925, like $7 or something. And like for some reason, I think somebody restrung it or something because I had to cut this off because it was, like, going to poke you. But look at how pretty the Peridot is. I'm pretty sure it's real Peridot. Again, you know, you can, you can put something pendant on this or layer this up. I just thought it was very pretty. And then this one, this has to come off for sure. This, um, the problem with these magnet clasps are when they're cheap like this, look at what happens. And you do not want to breathe that stuff in. That's not good. So if I find something like this when I have something, I will not sell that. Because that is not healthy for you to breathe in. And, uh... This one was $3.99. I just, I cannot in good conscience do that. That will need to be cut off and thrown away. Um, these are beautiful malachite beads. And the little ones are malachite beads as well. I don't think that this is silver. I will test them, but I, I think this makes the necklace look cheap anyway, so... I, I would restring it anyhow because the pendant is also um, malachite, but I think looks like this opens. Yes, it does. Look at that. So I could wear this separately anyway. It is marked 925 inside. It's just a beautiful malachite piece. And then this one needs to get very strong. And taking these, these things out, I think, would make it look nicer. And then replacing this. Um, 
There's a there's a repair group on um Facebook I usually love or <laughs> I usually ask um Jan's Jewels I think is where I I've gotten rhinestones before. Um they can be tricky to, to find. They're not very de they're not very easy to find anymore. So, yeah, this is a very nice piece. It is heavy. So, I was pretty excited for everything that I've gotten over the time. Um I definitely definitely love this coin piece. It's one of my favorites and this. And because uh, it's so interesting because of the gold on the inside, it looks like it has a gold halo around it even though it doesn't. So, and then this this looks stunning on. Some of these pieces they're not as nice when you when you wear them. Like they don't actually work that well. Um, but this one looks great. Um, well, as long as they're Swarovski, you're fine. Cause the Swarovski um uh, pretty much is the same as what they've been making for a long time. So their quality is really nice. So um and there's a couple other brands that they'll recommend too just to make sure that you're putting in something nice because uh, I, I will use newer rhinestones, but only quality ones. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. I know I said a lot of these were my favorites, but um, which ones are your favorites? Always curious about that. Please let me know and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful night. Bye guys.